Hello beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having an awesome day. I'm so glad to be back to makeup content. <laughs> so today's video is going to be a makeup declutter. I actually filmed a part one to this, but I didn't like the way it came out with like the camera angles and everything. So I've already decluttered a bunch of stuff from this filming room, like stuff I got in subscription boxes and stuff. So I decluttered a bunch of that. I've already listed that stuff in my Depop and gave away a bunch of stuff as well. I gave away a lot of stuff. But today is going to be part two where we dive deep into my makeup collection, my personal makeup collection that I use all the time on a daily basis and start decluttering things. I do declutters every three months and yeah, the last one was in January. It is now April. I do not do decluttering 80% of my collection. That's not what I do because I do declutter so often, but I just wanted to narrow this down. I am hoping, hoping and praying to move at the end of this month. So I want to declutter so I don't have to keep moving a bunch of stuff, especially things that I'm not using. So today is going to be part one of our declutter, part two will be our palettes, and part three will be lip products. So let's go ahead and do this. It's going to be primers, foundations, powders, blushes, contours, highlights, all that stuff. And let's get into it. I will leave my Depop link down below, which is where I'm listing everything. Used to list on Poshmark, but they take 20%, Depop takes 10%. And, um... Yeah, I also have a video on how to sanitize, use makeup, I'll leave a link down below. A lot of people usually ask me how to sanitize things. The easiest way to sanitize a powder product is a spray of alcohol and letting it dry with the lid open and everything. So, please don't ask me to send you anything. It makes me uncomfortable. And, uh, let's get into it. Alright, this angle is crooked, but I can't figure it out. So, this is my normal Alex drawer. We have one over here, too, which has some palettes in it, but mostly it's empty. Um, but this is my first Alex drawer, so let's get started with my brushes and primers. So I have a bunch of eye brushes here and some face brushes back here. We're not going to mess with the brushes today just because I've decluttered those. We have a couple eye primers. I keep wanting to declutter the Anastasia one. But like, <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm going to declutter this one. I think I was going to declutter it last time too, but I kept it, but I haven't used it since. If I really wanted to, I could just use the Gerard Cosmetics base, which is a little darker, or just like a concealer on my lid. I don't need this eye base, so I'm going to declutter this so far. I'm also going to declutter this. It's brand new. Is this Becca Ultimate Coverage Concealer. I know this angle is weird for this top drawer. Concealer in Linen, which I'm the 24-hour foundation in the shade Linen, but this just it looks really light but it's definitely not my shade so this can go I never even used it uh primers the I'm gonna keep the sunscreen the 30 SPF one from Laura Mercier I'm gonna keep the hydrating one and the Illum mm, I don't know about the illuminating one you can buy these as a set, too. I'm going to declutter the original hydrating one. You can get this at TJ Maxx for $12. Um, but since I have the new one, I'm going to declutter the old version. It's, like, full, full. I think I used it maybe three times. Because, really, when I want a hydrating one, I'm either going for my staple hyaluronic primer or the moonshine cream from First Aid Beauty. I think I'm going to keep the illuminating one from Laura Mercier and get rid of the... Illuminating one from Dark Cosmetics. I love it. This is in the shade Grace, which is light. But I used it twice, and I just feel like it's really, really, really shiny. And I don't need the underneath, so I'm going to part ways with this. And the Becca I'm going to keep. I'm going to part ways with the Stellar one. I only used it once for that video. And it's just okay. The texture feels nice and velvety. But I'm really going for more of a hydrating one, really. Or a perfecting one, it seems like. So I can part ways with this. It's like new, new. Um, so, five. I'm going to keep my oil. I'm going to declutter my enemy, the Makeup Revolution Infinite Coverage Concealer. I'm sure I can give this to a friend who would like it more than I did, because I hated it. Oh, I have this if I wanted a white base, too. Sorry, there's some rude people running through my neighborhood with their car, so, yeah. Also, I have this little sample of this skin thing. It's so cute. Um, but I think that's good for primers. I do like... I, I wish these ah I wish these were in my foundation concealer drawers. They don't fit, but maybe we'll make room and they'll fit. But I think this is a good amount of primers. There's only one primer spray right now. I tried to use the rest of them. Ugh. I'm sorry all the excess sounds in here. I'm getting really frustrated. But yeah, I think that's good for this drawer. 
I need to put this in my car, the little blotting powders from Fenty that came in the boxy charm. But I think this is good for now. I only need one illuminating. We got a bunch of hydration. Yeah, that's good. All right, I feel like this is a good angle for this drawer. Right here we have some of my go-to concealers. I have been using the Pretty Fresh one as much actually lately. I've really been using either the Conceal and Hydrate from Makeup Revolution or my Tarte Shape Tape things. This is the Glow Wand and the regular Shape Tape. But I do love this concealer. I'm going to keep it. I don't know how I feel about the Stellar one yet. We used it for that one video and I don't... I honestly can't even think of that video right now because I don't know how it looked. I mean, I think overall the color looked okay once it settled in my skin, so I might keep it. I'm going to get way, get rid of the Bare Minerals one. I think it gives it to a friend. I do... I got this because it's pinky based. I think I used it twice, but it's in Porcelain 0.5. I got it from TJ Maxx and I just don't reach for it. I feel like it doesn't wear as well as I want it to. It says performance wear, but I don't think it wears that well, but I just love the pinky undertone. But I'm going to part ways with it because it's full and I probably won't be able to use all of that. I need to get another beauty blender foundation. This pump is just... I told you, things I'm falling out of love with of the packaging sucks is this. It's so hard to get the product out of. I'm going to keep my three stick foundations here. The Makeup Revolution one, I'm... Like, that's it. I have a little nub in there. I'm going to try to use the rest of this. Um, so it's on its last leg. I don't really use the ColourPop one that much. I use this one once in a while, the Juvia's Place, because it's the perfect shade match for me. But... Yeah, I'm going to keep these. This one's practically empty, so it's going to be gone soon anyways. As far as these, I love foundations. I love having tons of foundations. It's like my favorite thing. I love foundation probably more than I love having tons of like blushes and highlights and stuff. I love the options. So the Makeup Revolution one is practically empty and so is the Born This Way. It's very hard to pump out product of it. I think I can probably get like two more uses out of this. So I'm going to keep this one for now, but these two are practically empty, so it's going to give me some more room when I finish them. I use the Conceal and Hydrate all the time. The Uoma is a great summer foundation for me when I get more tan. This is a lovely long wear foundation. This is a great dewy foundation. This one's very light coverage, which I don't wear that often, but it does look like my skin look naturally beautiful. A favorite of mine is the Pure. The Too Faced I like, but it's a little yellow undertone, but I like it's like a nice smell. As scary as it is to say, I think I can part ways with the face tape. I told you guys my products are falling out of love with. I'm just not reaching for this anymore. And it's still a great foundation, but I have so many new ones that I'm going to try to use. So I'm going to part ways with my face tape. But I love it. It's so good. But when you have tons of options, you can only use so much before it goes bad. I'd rather have a good home. Um, this is a more tan foundation for me. The... Soap and Glory, so I'm going to keep that. So is the Stay Naked. These two I'm not wearing that often um, because they're tan and the Woma. These three are like tan shades for me, especially the Stay Naked. It's very tan compared to the rest of these, but it is a great foundation. Let me shake it up. It's been a while since I even touched it. Um, for the summer coming up, so I'm going to keep that. It's lovely. I'm going to part ways with this one. I, th I think I wore it once. I don't even know if I wore it all day. It's the Laura Mercier Silk Moisturizing Cream. I got it for like 15 bucks at Marshall's. Um, it's in Vanilla Ivory. I just didn't like the finish that well. So The color was nice, but I didn't like the finish. I'm going to part ways with this one too, even though I only use it once, which feels wasteful. Don't buy makeup at TJ Maxx. Like the Makeup Revolution, or not the like the Bare Minerals one and this one, just because it's your shade. Don't do it. Even though both of them look nice on the skin, I could get away with it for videos. I want something I could wear out of the house and feel comfortable with all day. The This is what I'm conflicted about because the shades offer me. Even in my summer foundation, I'm not this warm undertone, but the finish is lovely. So I'm going to probably keep it because it's a wand. I love a wand applicator for foundation. I know it's not sanitary. I don't care. I love it. That's why I put, there was a pump in this. I switched it out with the wand from the Conceal and Define. I love a wand and that's what I use for the uh, Pure 2. So I'm going to keep that one for now. I'm conflicted. Oh, I guess I'll keep my Flower Beauty one. This is new to me. I hated it at first because the shade range used to suck. It was so bad. But this one's a newer shade, and I do like it, so I'm going to keep that. I'm also going to keep my Il Maquillage, even though I don't wear it that often. Do I need it? Yeah, it's a good full coverage. Since this one's almost out, I only have this full coverage and this one, so I'm going to keep the Il Maquillage. 
And then the All Nighter from Urban Decay is a beautiful summer foundation if I don't want my makeup to move. So that's it for this drawer we made. Okay, I'm going to declutter the Stellar one then. Declutter Stellar because I need more room in here. And now I can put my other two concealers in here. That's a little better. We have a little bit of room here and two of these are going to be empty soon. So I'm happy with this for now. I'm wondering if I need a couple of these. But I'm going to keep them for now. Moving on to drawer number three. This one is like the first wide drawer of the Alex unit. And this is one of my most filled ones. It's one of my most reached for drawers. So this is going to be hard. Especially because we did just declutter three months ago. I feel like <laughs> this is one of the drawers I have a hard time with. But let's try to get something down. So this is new to me, so I'm not going to declutter this yet. I haven't used it enough. It's the Smashbox Holidays Contour and Highlight Palette. It looks like this. I find this bronzer kind of muddy on me, but this is a nice cool tone. I'm not really crazy about the highlighters, but this is a nice like under the cheek, under the contour shade. So I haven't used this enough yet to get a real feel for it. I really want it for the contours in here. Um, and I haven't used the highlights yet, so I'm going to keep this because it's new. I found it at TJ Maxx for $25, and I feel like that's a good deal for a big palette. It is a little bit bulky. I was hoping it would sit in here, but the drawer won't close with it, so that's a little bit irritating. But I'm going to take that out of the way. First things first, we have a couple things right here. So this definitely can go. Um, I only like used it once, literally once, for a look. So this is the Confetti Matchstick from Fenty. I can sanitize this really easily and give this to someone who would use it more than me. So I'm going to declutter that, give it to a friend. This right here I haven't used yet. It's a little under eye brightening powder. This I can declutter. So I bought two of these, right? I bought a powder and a creamier one, the Super Shot kind of formula. This is your Catch. It's from like that wedding collection it looked like, wedding makeup. I use this all the time as like a base highlight. I tap it off my finger on my cheek and then I go over with a powder highlight to set it. This one I wanted because it was like the first release too. I bought it at the same time as this one. And it's beautiful. But there's not much of a base pigment to it. It's kind of just like a shine on the cheek. And I want more base pigment to it. So I'm going to declutter this one. But the clamshell and stuff. This is in the shade Platinum. I love. But I probably used it four times max. And I... It's so big I'll never use this whole thing. So that can go... Never getting rid of my ice cold skin frost. Are you in focus? There we go. Uh, da -da 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 -da. A couple of these things I was confused about last time. Like, do I want to declutter them or not? And now I feel that same way looking at this all over again. Because I love my highlighter drawer, my blush drawer, my contour drawer. Those are my favorite drawers. This and foundations excite me every time. Because I love a good base to my face. I have not been wearing the most eyeshadow lately. So these are like my things lately. And I love a setting powder. So I'm going to keep my setting powders. This is the coconut setting powder from Ciate. The Anastasia in vanilla. The Do You from Too Faced was a pink sparkly one. The Milk Makeup setting powder. I'm going to declutter the Stellar highlighter palette. It's a confusing formula. So I'm going to declutter this. I feel like we're decluttering a lot of the Stellar products. I'm still confused. I'm going to watch that video before I make sure I declutter this. I'm going to watch this video and see how I feel with the foundation. But we are also decluttering the primer and the highlighter palette. So, whereas I thought the look in that thing came out cute. I thought my face looked good. I just have so much stuff. I can't keep things just because I liked it, kind of. Uh, first thing, I love it, but it can go because I don't need it. It's the Sailor Moon Cat's Eye Blush. To do the thing it's it's so cute and i like the imprint because it reminds me of azrael because it's a black cat imprint but it's so so pigmented i like the glowiness too i was hoping it'd be a nice glowy blush and it's really cute but it's so pigmented that i like something a little more subtle for myself where i can build up so this can go even though it's the cutest thing ever uh these three are Laura Mercier blushes and I'm probably gonna get rid of the impactful one so I use this one the one on the bottom all the time this is in the shade rosé it's like a go-to I mix it in with a glowier blush this is I'm totally keeping that one I love it so much these other two okay that's a cute pink okay I'm gonna get rid of the more bold one I don't really wear this color I don't have too many blushes this color 
but I don't wear something that's red on my cheeks because I have a lot of rosacea on the bottom of my contour area like underneath like on my jawline I'm gonna keep this one so we're keeping two of the lighter pinks and we're getting rid of the reddier one I love Laura Mercier products they're expensive but they're beautiful they're so pretty and especially when they're primers and a couple of their eyeshadow palettes I've never tried their eyeshadow formula but a couple of their like primers and stuff end up in TJ Maxx and the foundation up there well worth it also I'm sorry my nails are like this I did a hair mask this morning and it ripped all my nail polish off I'm sorry I did not notice until just now they were this bad Please don't kill me. I'm so keeping the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star and Glow. Bronze and Glow. I use this like almost every day. Like I love my Cover FX palette and stuff. This contour shade is everything. Like I don't even know if you can tell how much of a hurting I've put in this thing. I'd never use the highlight shade. It's not for me. It's not my favorite highlight shade in the world. This is just such a good cool tone contour. And honestly, a little goes a long way. And I don't know how I haven't hit pan on it. I can see the indention of my fun little co curved kabuki brush in there. But I don't know how I haven't hit pan. Also, it doesn't close anymore. Like, this little clasp broke on it. It doesn't close. I don't know if it's worth the price, per se. But it's the most fancy, probably the most expensive thing that I own. And I love it so much that if I hit pan on it and ran out, I would probably, maybe around Christmas time, around my birthday, treat myself to another one of these. After that, we have the Natasha Denona Bloom Blush and Glow Palette that came in a BoxyCharm Premium. I only use half this palette. I use these two shades. I usually mix it in with the Laura Mercier thing. This is a great product to have in a BoxyCharm Premium, I must say. I never use the Glow or Blush Cream products, but I do use these a lot, so I'm going to keep it for that. I'm finally going to declutter, I'm going to clean it up, of course, my blush kit from Anastasia. I haven't even made a dent in it, and I've used it tons. I've really used this shade so it can go it's bulky it's thick for some little blushes so it's time but I've had it and loved it for a long time definitely gonna keep because I use it to death it doesn't even close either anymore the cover effects perfect or face palette I did end up decluttering one of my backups I brought like I bought like five of these off like Poshmark and stuff when they came in the BoxyCharm I bought two to give to friends, a backup for myself, and then another backup for myself, and I decided to declutter one of my backups for myself because I don't need two backups. But that's how much I love this thing. The blush fell out. It's unfortunate. It fell out when I was filming a video one day. But I use this conjunction mixed in together all the time. It's not as good by itself, the contour, but you mix it with the finishing powder. It's a beautiful combination. The highlighters are fine. They're not particularly for my shade, but this could be mixed in with the blush to make a glowy blush. The brightener is okay. You can tuck at the inner corner of your eye if you would like, but it's not my favorite thing. It's the contour and the finishing powder. Keeping. Also hit tons of pan on keeping forever. I had a backup of this. I don't know what happened. I don't know if I accidentally gave it to someone or not, but I don't know where it is and I can't get another one of these. It's unfortunate. The Pirates of the Caribbean Lorac Cheek Palette. Contour shade used to death. Clearly, everything in this palette is lovely. The glowy, highlighty shade mixed in with the blush, really pretty. The highlights themselves, stunning. But of course, I used the contour to death. It's so good. It's so good. Wow, I made actually a little bit of progress. I actually got more rid of one of these. That's so good of me. Okay, 1000% um, keeping the peppermint frost. It's actually the highlight you saw in my intro today. Ugh. I love it so much. I never use this shade. I use these two shades mixed in. This shade's my favorite, and it smells so good. The This is where I'm conflicted, the Brain Freeze palette. I was also using this today. Um, I only use one shade out of it, and it's this. I use the Frozen Fruit shade as a glowy blush. Jeffrey, I know you can do it. Glowy blushes, please. This shade, the glowy blush, is lovely. This is a beautiful highlight as well, but I haven't touched anything else. I think I used this one time when I had blue hair because it's a very blue highlight. And these three I haven't touched at all. I've used this probably twice, and I've used this maybe three times, but don't, you can't even tell. It's like brand new looking. So this is where I'm conflicted. This can go to maybe pile for me because I love this, but is it worth keeping the entire palette that takes up a good amount of room? I don't know. Maybe pile. First thing in our maybe pile. Hmm. I feel bad decluttering Jeffree Star stuff. Really, I do, because I do a lot of Jeffree Star reviews. So the Platinum Ice palette... I'm going to declutter it because I don't use it. I have my single of ice cold and that's really what I reach for. I'm going to clean it up before I give it to somebody because it's a mess, but uh, it's so sad I 
I've had it forever. It's so sad. Okay, I'm gonna declutter it. I don't need it just because Jeffree Star. I threw away a hundred Jeffree Star lipsticks almost, and I'm trying to hold on to this palette for what? For nothing. I'm getting rid of it. Oh, I'm a strong, strong person today. <laughs> All right, Gwen Stefani blush and cheek palette. I blushy cheek palette. Um, I never use this. I don't understand why are these shades orange in here, especially this matte orange. But it's Gwen Stefani, so I'm gonna keep it, cause it's Gwen Stefani. <laughs> I can declutter this. I hope I can give it to someone who would actually enjoy it. It's the Rach Loves and Pixie palette. Ooh, how'd it get so dirty on the back? I gotta clean all this stuff up. Something about this drawer gets so much dirtier than the rest of my drawers. This shade came broken, but I repressed it. And it's really the only shade I like out of this thing. These two shades are good, but I'm never... When am I ever gonna use this? When am I ever gonna use that? I never wear a purple one. Really, this is the shade I like. I had to repress. So, honestly, it's lovely. The highlighter formula from Pixie is so freaking good. Their powder products are amazing. But I'm just going to clean this up and give it to someone who would use it more. Because I'm not getting a lot of use out of it. As it is. I really kind of reach for the same highlights over and over again. I can't believe I decluttered my Platinum Eyes palette. <gasps> okay, who am I? I'm going to keep the brain freeze for now. Okay. Yeah, two Jeffree Star highlighter palettes now. That's good. That's good. Will this stand up in here now? If I lean this all the way back. <gasps> it just does. Okay, I'll try to rearrange this drawer later. All right, moving on. We talked about my setting powders. The... Oh, my Urban Decay blushes. We have Obsessed and Fetish. <sighs> I love both of them. And honestly, I'm going to keep both of them. <laughs> I'm going to keep both of them. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I'm not even going to try to justify it. I want them. I'm going to keep them. Uh, three Ofra highlighters. Probably going to keep all three of these. The first one is Pillow Talk, which I hit pin on because it's my favorite thing in the entire world. <laughs> we have a glazed donut next, which is this one. It's a really pretty silvery based highlighter. And what's this one? This one's Snuggle Up, which is a blush and highlighter duo. I had to repress this side because it came broken, which happens a lot with Ofra things. They come broken a lot, but they're really nice about it. And um, I'm going to keep all three of these, I think. Yeah, I'm going to keep all three. I don't really use the Snuggle Up duo as much because I have blushes and highlighters and singles that I like better, especially the regular Ofra highlighters. But I'm going to try to use it more, I think, as a duo. Even though I would never travel with these because they're so freaking fragile. Next up, we have a Charlotte Tilbury blush. This one is in Cheek to Chic. It's a very subtle blush, but I do like it. It kind of looks like a boob. But it's very subtle. I do like it. I haven't used it in a little bit just because because I've been using these Laura Mercier ones so much. But I do enjoy it, so I'm going to keep that. Uh, the Laura Mercier highlighters. I know one of these I'm going to declutter and one of them is a TJ Maxx too. This I'm going to keep. It is the Baked Highlighter 01. So good. It's definitely not a standalone highlighter for me. I like this and then I put something on top of it. It's like a most gorgeous combination. I'm going to keep that and then I'm probably going to declutter Devotion because this is the one you can get at TJ Maxx and it's pretty but I never reach for it. Like it's stunning. Like that's so pretty. Do I need to hold things up closer to the camera? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so good but I have so many other highlights that are this shade. If I'm going to reach for a pinky based highlight I'm going to reach for Ice Cold. I mean Pillow Top. All right I'm also going to well I don't have that many bronzers honestly I'm probably going to keep this even this is not my favorite thing anymore. The Milani 01 Silky Matte. I'm actually just going to keep it because I don't have any bronzers and summer's coming up. But it's not my favorite bronzer anymore. But literally, I don't have any other bronzers. I just have contour shades. Um, Let's see. The Pony Effects Cushion Foundation. We used once for a video. I think I can give this to someone who would use it more than me, though. I'm going to get rid of this because I have so many foundations already. And I also have... Somewhere, I have another extra cushion for this so when I find that I will declutter that as well all right uh I'm sorry my arm is all over this shot you guys I'm sorry I guess we're going back here then we'll go to these so I'm gonna declutter this I kept it in my last one but I haven't used it psychedelic by makeup geek it looks white it's extremely pink 
I tried it once and I never tried it again, so it can go. I don't really wear like a pink pink. You know, I'll use like a pinky, like an icy pinky. I don't ever use that. I'm going to keep the Anastasia and Rizzy. I don't use it that much, but I'll regret it if I get rid of it because you can't get it again. <laughs> After that, here's another bronzer that I do enjoy. It's the Laura Mercier Soleil One. I'm gonna keep that. I'm keep that. Two. Bron I still have two bronzers. All right. Uh. Ooh. How do I feel about this? How do I feel about this? These last forever. You'll never finish one. If you finish one, I'm impressed. So the Tarte Amazonian Clay. This one's in Seduce. Super pricey. I'm gonna declutter it though. I don't like spending twenty something dollars on a blush and then not using it. So I'm going to declutter this one because I am not really into matte blushes right now. And by the time I'm back into matte blushes, which will probably be in the summertime, I'll probably just use the Laura Mercier ones I have. So gorgeous. No dents in it, but you can't keep them all. And since I'm trying to move, I would rather not have things that I'm not using and have to transport it. So next up we have two Lethal Cosmetics. I'm going to keep both of these. This one is my most used one. It is in the shade Isotope. And we also have the shade Ionic. And one's, one's more of a goldy, one's more of like a skin tone color. I'm going to keep my Steve Laurent Jelly Highlighter. Just because I don't know if I can give someone else a jelly thing I stick my fingers into all the time. I really go for this um, ColourPop one, this You're a Catch thing, before I go for this for a jelly based highlight. But it's a good option to have. I am also... I'm going to get rid of this because it looks like fetish a little bit. But it's a little pinkier, purplier. Blush Crush and Zac by Lottie London. These are such good freaking blushes. But I have so many blushes. I don't really reach for a berry tone blush. I usually do more of a lighter neutral pink and maybe a little bit of glow to it. So Cute, but it can go. I'm being cutthroat. <laughs> I was not cutthroat with these foundations. <laughs> okay. Uh, da, 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 da. I have both of these. So these are the head to toe glowy, uh, glowy powders. I had these for the longest time for I know what to do with them. They're glowy blushes. It's in Fetch and Wednesdays. I'm going to keep both of these. One's more of a tan, one's more of a pinky. But they're so glowy for a blush. And I'm going to keep both of them. And lastly, this is a great purchase. <laughs> the Lunar Beauty Mercury. Yeah, Mercury highlighter. It's it's the yellow, and it's stunning, and I love the packaging. And I would buy another one of these in a second if they came in like an ice cold kind of color. But this is like a yellowy, and it's like their lightest one. But I love it. I love it so much. It's so pretty. The packaging is so nice. All right. I made some room in here. Look, this can lay down. That's nice. All right. Back of here. I'm gonna declutter this. I never use a liquid highlight. It feels like <laughs> so. Um, I got the pump to work after it wouldn't work, but I just never used it. So this is the Becca Skin Perfector Liquid in Pearl. I think I used it twice. It's nice. Once I got the pump to work, it's nice. But um, don't use liquid highlighters that much. Especially with the summertime coming up, I'm going to get sweaty. So back here we have two of my Kaleidos highlighters. We have Solar Sailor, which is a yellow. The packaging is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. I die for it. And we also have Star Surfer, which is a lighter pink. These have glitter in them, but I absolutely adore these. So they can move forward now. After that, we have an OMFG in Playdates. It fell out of the pan. I had to repress it, but it's a beautiful light pink. I'm going to keep this one. I'll reorganize this drawer later. I'm not worried about putting things in the right place. I will be decluttering the Focalore 01 Starlight just because it's just it's just an icy glitter. It's pretty. But um not necessary, you know? Not necessary. After that we have a Focalore Focalore Sculpting Glow. This is really pretty. But I would just finish using these contours before I reach for this, so. I don't know. I feel conflicted about this because it is nice. And it's very cool toned. <laughs> but I've never used this highlighter. And if I use this, it's only because I ran out of the other ones, so. I'll part ways with it. I'll part ways with it. I'm going to, like, try to try new contour products this year at some point. 
because I've had this for a while. I've had this for a long time. The Pirates one's been out forever. And those are the three contours I use, like no other ones. I got the new, I got the Holidays palette from Smashbox. It's new to me, but I really want to try new contour products this year. So I'm going to get rid of the Vocalore one. I will also declutter, ah, just kidding. I will not declutter the Reserve Your Cabana from Wet n Wild. I'm going to keep it. Not, I don't know how I feel about Wet n Wild anymore. Um, but this is beautiful. I got rid of my extra of this. I had a duplicate. Like, I got it on clearance because they were discontinued this color at Ulta. I got rid of that and gave it away because, uh, I don't know how I feel about them. The lies, you know, the lies. This is State Highlighter in Doomy Lit. It's alright. It's kind of just a baked highlighter, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Um, the April Skin. Did I ever use this? The April, I did use it. I used it once. The April Skin Foundation from Stylevana. I'm just gonna get rid of it. No reason. It's a beautiful finish. It's a little tan for me. Yes, it's a beautiful finish though, but when am I ever gonna reach for a cushion? It's just gonna get my sponge all dirty, unless I'm using a brush, which isn't that often. So yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of it. I don't know. Both of my Stylevana foundations have the most gorgeous finish on them. Which makes me not want to get rid of it. But I have foundations. So we're going to stick with that. Uh, back here we have the Uranus highlighter from Manny and Jeffrey collab back in the day. Keeping that. I'm going to keep my Jeffree Star setting powder even though I'm not a fan of it. <laughs> because it's a very pinky rosy to own. Um, but, 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 but. I feel like it doesn't this. Oh, okay. The Stellar powder. I'm going to declutter it. I only used it for that video. It's making a mess. That's what I feel like would happen with that video. Everything got messy. Declutter, I'm still contemplating. I'm going to put this back in the maybe pile for the foundation, but I'm going to get rid of the powder because it's like I only used it that one time and I know someone else could get a lot of use out of it. I will keep my Cover FX powder back here, my Bare Minerals Mineral Veil I'll probably keep. Just I don't use it. I use the other pink, the dewy one from Too Faced, but... I like extra powder, and then as a travel backup, if I ever need it, I have the Too Faced one, but it's very yellow on me, so that's that. That's the drawer here. Everything's covered in powder now because of that Stellar thing. Okay, I'll clean this up later, but that is this drawer done. We did really well. The last two drawers in here palettes so I'm going to leave these alone for the next video but let's move on to the other side all right it's hard to show you this drawer because it's just an awkward place for me to put my camera but it's mostly my setting sprays and some skincare moisturizers and stuff so this one's just gonna stay as it is I don't really extra wands tools and stuff this is just gonna stay how it is I don't feel like messing with this drawer it's always the messiest I might clean it up and maybe get rid of some stuff in there but it's just not part of the video it's just a mess so this drawer right here is mostly my eye products so other than eyeshadow this is my eye stuff so weird angle are we even in focus I don't know so we have all my liquid shadows and stuff over here and my singles and some brow products and we have my regular pencil eyeliners here mascaras and such and some hand sanitizer and lip liners along this little side right here because I don't really wear that many lip liners and I don't really have that many so I just took them on the side. First things first, I have gotten rid of a lot of ColourPop Super Shocks in my last declutter. I'm gonna get rid of this loose pink eye pigment from Medusa's makeup in the shade Frosting because I haven't used it yet and I don't see myself reaching for a loose pigment. I will also be decluttering this beautiful multi-chrome from Venus Gale Cosmetics. I came in a Try Beauty Box and it's really pretty, but it's just going to be messy for me, so these things can go. They're brand new. Uh, I'm going to declutter this ColourPop liner in Prance, which I think I reached for once. It's a fine texture. I just keep feeling it to see if it's still good, but I haven't used it, and I don't see myself reaching for it, so... I'm gonna get rid of this. If I'm gonna use like a liner like this, I'll probably just reach for a liquid instead of a gel. Uh, Moira eyebrow stuff. Moira eyebrow stuff. Some super shocks. I can get rid of the cherish, cherish super shock. 
very pretty, but it's just not, it's kind of bronzier and I can reach for that color in a palette. So that can go. Uh, I can also declutter this birthday treat one from the newest birthday collection, turning five years old. Ooh, I'll have to give that to a friend. It looks kind of smooshy smooshy, but it's very pretty. And the rest of these are going to stay. <laughs> like my Ritz, my One Jelly Much. These are going to stay. The Kat Von D, or the KVD Vegan Beauty pomades. I don't like the purple one, but I'm just going to keep it because it's purple and I have purple hair all the time. I'm sorry about the focus in this video if it's bad. Do I need this? What is this? What color is this though? Dark brown. Alright, I'll keep the dark brown. I have a blonde pomade too, just for wigs and stuff. I have yet to use this Lorella one, but I could possibly use this green color, so I'm going to keep that for now. Um, There's cat hair in this drawer. I don't know. I'm going to declutter the Ciate London Starstruck one because it's like a gold purple shift. I'm never going to reach that. I'm going to get declutter this even though I just got it and I don't think I've used it yet. It's the Zoella and Colourpop. It was like a free gift because my Colourpop order arrived late. So I'm going to keep, I'm going to get rid of these two. I'm going to keep the rest of these. I wanted this forever and I even waited until the old side I worked at at the time. Had this one in stock and I never reached for it. So I'm going to get rid of this one too. I'm sure I can give this to a friend who would really enjoy these more. Mostly I reached for <laughs> my Stila's, which I love. And I need another Perlina. And this one's peachy, peach pretense, so I could use this instead of the pink Baker Revolution one. Mm, I'm going to get rid of these two. There are many from this triple set, but I'm going to keep the yellow one. It's in Burnished Sienna and Sunset Fire, a gold and a burnt red. I never reach for these. I'm also going to declutter both of these Ofra ones. I just got these. It's the Rosé and the Fire Star. But the formula is just alright. And mostly I use liquid for underneath my lower lash line and my inner corner to make my eyes look bigger. And these aren't metallic enough or glittery enough to catch that eye. It's just more of just on a lid thing and I don't really use liquid shadows on my lid that often. So I'm going to declutter these too. Um, I use these Milani ones all the time. I don't know if they still make these or not because I've had them for a while, but they're so good. And now I think I can turn all of these this way. Also, I haven't tried this one yet, but we'll see. All right, this drawer is looking good. I don't know. Put the hand sanitizer here. I don't know what to declutter out of these. Pencils are easy for when I have wigs on. Yeah, they're easy for when I have wigs on and stuff. The pony effect one's really nice. I'll get rid of this Bach blue from Kat Von D if it swatches okay. I mean, if it doesn't swatch okay. I mean, it's still pretty impactful. I'll keep it for now. But it's a kind of ancient, but um, it's probably expired. It probably shouldn't be in your eyes. I'm going to do it anyways. Don't be like me. Is this a black from... Oh, it's white. It's Graceland from ColourPop. I'm going to keep that. I really like it. It's actually stayed wet a really long time. Moon stamp. I'm going to keep my moon stamp. The Carity eyeliner is relatively new to me. But here's something I don't like about it. I always have to like open it two or three times to actually get it to come out properly. This little cap thing comes off in here. I'm actually going to declutter it. It's disgusting in here. It got so gross so fast. I'm going to declutter this. So I'm just going to throw it out. But I did like it. But the black, it's so black. But it's really irritating. I'm keeping this. I use the pencil side all the way up, but I use it for drawing on little fake hairs with the ink side. This is my current mascara. It's a superhero by IT. I just opened this new Girlactic one that came in a subscription box. I'm going to keep my heart stamp. I'm going to keep this Sigma brow gel. I'm going to declutter the Courtney Act and Ciate London thing because it's hard to get the... This end works fine and then the stamp end like the cap comes out and it's really weird sometimes so I do like the idea of this but I'm gonna get rid of it because I never use it <laughs> and I'm gonna get rid of this little mini tattoo liner from Kat Von D. Oh it's still black but oh, yeah it's a little inconsistent I have another open eyeliner I'm just gonna get rid of this one all right and this one's a star stamp I'm gonna keep that for the star stamp side of it we have a yellow color pop liquid liner oh that's so good I never used that 
I've never used it before, I don't think, but it's so good. Keeping the colorful eyeliners. I need more colorful liquid eyeliners. All right. As far as pencils goes, I'm just going to keep them. I did clutter these a couple months ago. We do do clutters, declutters every three months. I'm just going to keep my pencils. I don't have that many. Actually, I'll declutter this one. The Il Maquillage Glitter Eyeliner in Opal. I don't use metallic eyeliners in my waterline. I just don't. So, we'll get rid of one. And that is it for this drawer. And that is it for this declutter. The bottom is just like paperwork, bills and stuff, and some makeup wipes and baby wipes. So, yeah. I'm going to clean up a bunch of this stuff. Oh, I have some Jeffree Star stuff back here, too. I have the... What is this? Oh, my Onyx Ice Highlighter for my iconic video. A Liquid Frost and the Supreme Frost. I don't use these products, so they're just back here. Chilling. Out of the way. So yeah, that is it for the declutter, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I think we got rid of a lot of blushes and highlighters and stuff. We didn't really declutter that too much out of too much out of this drawer. But the blushes and highlights and a couple foundations, a couple primers is really good. So thank you guys so much. Sorry everything's out of focus. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next declutter video. Bye, guys.